right, what's up everyone? So I stepped in some stuff today. We'll just say that. But pissed my wife off because before we left on vacation, well, she says she's on ban it from my phone, but Facebook Marketplace, oh my God, I buy so much stuff off of there. I ended up uh, buying a 12 by 16 foot shed <laughs> and I had no way of moving it so I figured go there before the day I leave try to move it so we went there with a couple well with a floor jack and a couple boards was trying to knock it over on my trailer well I didn't know that the shed weighed 3,000 4,000 pounds so that wasn't happening. I ended up becoming too dangerous and I didn't want nobody getting hurt. So right now we just got back from vacation and it's, I'm like backed up on everything. I'm backed up on eBay and all that good stuff. But we gotta go out and move this today. So I got the truck loaded full of tools, some extra wood and stuff. My plan is to jack it up, put it on uh, blocks, and just back the trailer right under it. But I do want to stop at Lowe's and buy a 8x8 uh, post, uh, 16 foot long, and buy two of them and put them underneath. That way I could just jack up those two things but I don't know how that will work. I'll show you guys the big board and what the truck looks like, but it's loaded right now. And hopefully my wife likes it once I get it home, but this will be kind of a how-to video and this is by yourself. All right, we'll see you guys at Lowe's and I'll show you what we gotta get. All right, so we're picking up two of these uh, four by six. That says it's only 12 foot also. Shoot, I need a 16 foot. So, uh, I thought they were 16s. Why does it say 2x8 by, by 16? Ah, uh, 2x8, shit. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So this might screw me over because they only sell the 6x6 in 12 foot also but they sell the four by fours and 16. Matter of fact, that's it right there. But four by four won't be enough. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get two of these, try my best. But I don't know if that gives me enough play to back the trailer under, which I don't think it will. So at this point, I am kind of screwed because they don't carry the right lumber. All right, now I gotta look online and get you guys back. All right, well, here it is. You see where we started to lift it, but ended up giving up on that idea due to, we had it like way up in the air, like this high, and it was just becoming too dangerous. So what I'm going to attempt to do is get uh, the jack under this side, jack this side up, put some blocks on this side, fit the 2 by 4s under, two on each side, jack the whole thing up, because these are 16 foot, and uh, hopefully have it over the trailer by that point. But set you guys up somewhere, that way you can watch, but not sure how long it's going to take me.
All right, so literally I am soaked. Trailer's still sitting under there. I'm gonna try to raise it back now. Alright, GoPro started acting up, so I had to switch GoPros. But we cut this board to fit that one back underneath once we pump it up a tiny bit. This is the most dangerous part. We are almost home clear.
and that's why you don't do stupid shit like I just did. This is bad. Oh yeah. Alright, so this is what happened. Oh, we're almost on there too. Just trying to rush. That sucks. Alright, let's see what we can do. We are almost set. We got literally four, less than four feet to go. Gotta jack this up real quick, put some more blocks under there, and just get it all stabilized. But it's raining out, so in the case you go, I think I broke one. Of my Alright, about to back this thing on like butter. Watch that jack go. That's it.
Park. We are literally 12 minutes from home, so I am like excited. Like, I've been driving 30 miles an hour for the last hour. 30 miles per hour for the last hour and keep pulling over to the side, waving people on, which made my arm very cold. So guys, right, we almost got in the yard. My wife's like, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, we just got a couple more feet back and then we're in. Well, how you like it? Looks good, right? And what are you putting in this? Uh, anything and everything. Oh, it's finally home. And good thing is the door's on this side. Oh. You cold? Yeah. Yeah, uh, your like, lips are hurt Polish. Yeah. Um, freezing I think that's about it for right now everybody I got lunch in the fridge for you and then uh I'll try to unload tomorrow all right so it looks kind of funny because the shed is literally as almost as big as my garage so that is literally amazing see I'm I wasn't cheaping out buying no carport nothing like that people were telling me to get that it's easier I buy the whole damn shed and set that thing up. <laughs> but uh whew. hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I got to see how long it is and I'll probably fast forward a lot of it, but I hope you enjoyed it. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye.